Well, hello again, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the season thus far. It has been fantastic. We've watched so many things happen this season, and we're about to wrap up our mini season, and I'm sad, but you know we'll be back in the spring. I am so grateful and so honored for you all to continue to tune in week after week and just share with us how this story or this platform is encouraging you and changing some of the lives out there and in our universe where we have a lot of negative going on. God is allowing us to see winners who are choosing to win. And I promise you this week is not going to disappoint. Like I always tell you, and I know y'all say you say that every week, Dr. Bell, but every week it seems as though God takes the show higher and higher. And this week we will not disappoint. I have someone here today to share with you a journey of how they have been a, a trailblazer for people like me, people like you, and a change agent in their community like none other. So if you have someone that have not watched the show yet, you need to go get them to watch this one. Oh, and by the way, if you have a show, and if you know someone who has a show to tell us, go to our website, fnfministries.org, click on Choose to Win, and let us know what you're doing. So now, without further ado, I would love to introduce to you my friend, my friend, the superintendent, I call you super boy, <laughs> of Lynette City Schools, Jennifer Boyd. I just am grateful to have you here. Welcome. Welcome to Choose to Win. Thank you so much. I, too, am super excited to be here today um, to have the opportunity to, to just share about my life, myself, and what I've been able to accomplish in my plight to help others. And so thank you so much for choosing me to be here with you today. And you and I both know, I had to get Brie on you. <laughs> that God chose you way before I can even think about it. I've watched you and, and you've been there for me. A lot of people don't know that and, and they know it now that I'm not very, I'm not, I'm very transparent. And so when I was going through one of the worst period of my life, I was like, Lord, send me someone mm -hmm. that understands that I don't need to open my mouth. <laughs> so he sent me to you and, and you were very encouraging about, you know, sometimes when you can say, let God speak. So I just wanted to thank you publicly. I know I've told you that over and over again, but I do mean that. I want to thank you publicly for being someone mm -hmm. in the community that I knew mm -hmm. that I could trust with information. Mm -hmm. Like I could come talk to you about just about me how I was feeling, what I was going through. And I knew you weren't going to judge me. I knew you was just going to be there for me. And we have to say this name, um, Donna Bell. I kind of yes. got to know you through her. We used to work together mm -hmm. and now she works for your school yes. system mm -hmm. doing fantastic things. She awesome. loves you. Awesome. She loves you. So I knew who you were mm -hmm. through her. And so just a big encouragement. So God, thank you for being here. And likewise, you've definitely been a big encourager for me. Uh, the conversations that we have had have helped me just as much as you say I've helped you. So ditto to what you said about me. I feel the same way about you. So when I leave, you I always tell people, you know, I, I just vote the Super Bowl. You know, that's just I just that's how that's how I mean it. You are doing so many wonderful things. And we'll just talk about your position as a African-American female Absolutely. at Lynette City Schools. Have there ever been another superintendent of African-American female? No, ma'am. And I'm the, the first African-American, um, first female um, African-American superintendent here at Lynette City Schools. Oh, wow. Now, that had to be a journey within itself. Absolutely. Like, we talk about when God transform us up, we have to be very honest. Sometimes we question our capabilities or mm -hmm. we, we think about, Lord, I remember when I got my first job as a principal, I was like, what am I supposed to do now? You know, so, but mm -hmm. God gives you the grace because I've watched you, we, that, that we'll talk about your football program mm -hmm. because it is a program. It's just not a team. Absolutely. Y'all have done some things. Your, your educators, I've had an opportunity to work with some of your Absolutely. principals. And I just see how the the spirit of love but excellence Absolutely. is in Absolutely. this system. So let's talk a little bit about how do you get that to transform into your schools? Because I have an opportunity mm -hmm. to work with several of your leaders, mm -hmm. and it's the same focus. How does that take place? Well, one of the things um, that I like to share is um, upon accepting this position, mm -hmm. um, I coined um, three key elements that okay. I think are so important. Um, to leadership here at Lynette City Schools. Consistency, commitment, and compassion. All right. Consistency, commitment, and compassion. And those are the three things that I have um, harped on. Now I'm into my fourth year. I've always talked about consistency, commitment, and compassion because without those three elements, you're gonna have um, 
a much harder time in accomplishing those things that you want to accomplish. And so just getting all of our people, not only our administrators, but our staff, right. our students, our parents to buy into those three elements. And I think that that has helped us to continue to be successful um, since I've taken on this role. Uh, you know, I, 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 as a leader myself, I do like I, I created a program to train teachers for mm -hmm. professional learning communities called REACH. And my C in REACH is mm -hmm. consistency. Mm -hmm. And so I do understand that. But I've watched you be in the community and that I've watched. Now, we have to be honest when you're doing a good job and a bad job. People <laughs> going to tell it now. And so I have to be honest with you. Um, I have heard great things. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we all know um, that people are going to find something, but we don't even harp on those because I'll be honest with you. you know, I'm not just saying this. I don't hear, I'm not a negative person, mm -hmm. but I don't really hear not, a lot of negative. Mm -hmm. You are who you are. You're very poised. You're very um, reserved. You're very firm. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the element, that consistency, but I love mm -hmm. the compassion because that's what you mm -hmm. did. That's how God sent me to you. I knew mm -hmm. whether you knew the story or not, because we never, you never, we never talked about the story. Mm -hmm. We just talked about how can I be a lending ear. Um, we don't, we're not negative people, so we didn't right. lash out about people. We just, you just listen. And so I believe that's what you do for your leaders. Matter of fact, I know that's what you do because when I talk to Donna Bell, mm -hmm. she often tells me. You know, I always want to do a good job because mm -hmm. my my leader is always encouraging me and, and making me believe that I can do Absolutely. better. So you have your responsibility. And I kind of looked off when you said four years, four years. Yes, I am into my fourth year oh, as God. superintendent. Time has flown by. Uh, but I still have a lot that I that I hope for our district to be able to accomplish. Well, Annette is, is doing some great things. So we talk about the classroom. I see you. You work very hard. Um, I came to talk to you about some academic work to do with your schools. You know, you didn't even shake. You was like, what, whatever can do to help my kids. Mm -hmm. um, the parents were excited. The mm -hmm. kids were excited. We had a good time. And just one of those people that will be... Whatever I can do for the kids. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how do you keep your teachers mm -hmm. as enthusiastic as mm -hmm. they are when I see them? Because when I see them, they all, it's just like a family. Mm -hmm. If there are any problems in our family, mm -hmm. we keep it amongst mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. But when I see your staff, um, um, the Christy Stories, who Absolutely. often shouts Absolutely. out your school, um, they always talk so positive mm -hmm. about working with you. How do you mm -hmm. keep that going? One of the things that I think is most important um, as a leader is to form good relationships with your staff. Um, people will buy into whatever it is you're selling. Absolutely. If you form relationships, relationships with them. I am a lover of people. Mm -hmm. um, I love God, of course, but I am a lover of people right. and I want to see people do well. And I think because I've been able to form good relationships with our staff members, with our administrators, uh, with our students. Yeah. I love our kids. Uh, I think that that goes a long way. Um, people believe in you and they trust you right. when they know that you care about them and you, you know, when they know that you want what's best for them. So I think that that is one of the most important um, elements that, has, that have helped me in my plight to, um, to be the best superintendent that I can be. You said something then when you said people, when you build relationships, that's number one. And I don't know how people miss that, but they keep missing that. Mm -hmm. you don't, you, we don't care nothing about your title. We want to mm -hmm. know if we can trust you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they will believe and buy into you. Everything. You can get them to do anything. The parents, the Absolutely. people. Absolutely. If they know you, you they can trust you. Absolutely. Whatever you say, go. Absolutely. And so um, I, I see you out and about. I see you in the community. I don't see you at a specific place. I see you mm -hmm. at all places. Mm -hmm. When I want to know if y'all are winning the football <laughs> game on Friday, I go to your page. You know, I often, I, I love sports. Mm -hmm. So I often still follow Valley and I still follow mm -hmm. Lynette. I don't mm -hmm. follow the city of Valley as much mm -hmm. anymore because I, we live in Georgia now, mm -hmm. but I still follow my kids. Mm -hmm. So the best way to follow your kids in, in, is sports. Mm -hmm. So um, I know to go to Denise Clark page when I want to hear about Valley mm -hmm. or Valerie, um, but no one is vocal as Denise. That's my good friend. Mm -hmm. But if I want to see what Lynette is doing, I go to the superintendent page. Absolutely. Whether they winning or, 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 or have struggled a little bit, way to go Lynette. <laughs> I mean, like, I was like, she'll put up zero to 26. Go Panthers. Absolutely. <laughs> I, know, I just it's love all, it. It's a great day to be a Panther it, every day. It's a great day to yes, be a Panther. And you showed that so <laughs> Well, you talk about the kids and it's very obvious by me working with some of your students that they do respect mm -hmm. and, and trust you as well. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like that happens? You have mm -hmm. to be in these schools because mm -hmm. there's no, and I know your job is overwhelming, mm -hmm. 
to be a super. I can't even mm -hmm. imagine. But how do you make sure you balance that? I think that it's important to always make certain that you are visible, and that's just not as the principal of a school, mm -hmm. but also as a superintendent. Um, you have to get from behind your desk sometimes. Mm -hmm. Go out, visit the students at school, but also by being in a small community, mm -hmm. I know everything that's going on in Lynette, <laughs> whether that be at a rec game, uh -huh. um, whether it's the athletic teams helping with the fuller build, mm -hmm. You need to be visible right. because people need to know that you care. Right. They really, you know, they'll buy into what you say as far as arithmetic and reading, <laughs> but they want to know that you care about them and what's best for them. And so I love people and um, I've been able to build my career to the level that it is because I've kept in mind that it's about people and it's about our children being successful. And as long as we keep that goal in mind, the adults, we just got to work together to make it happen. You just said something. My uh, uh, grandma used to tell me, always let the main thing be the main thing. Absolutely. And, and not that we don't believe in the numbers or the scores and all of that, mm -hmm. but the reason why your system is striving the way it is mm -hmm. and thriving is because you put kids Absolutely. in relationships first. Absolutely. And then we'll have a conversation about your test scores. Absolutely. So I, I think, I don't even know why we're missing that. Mm -hmm. We will get to that. Mm -hmm. When I first went into my first principal job, the scores were down. But that's not what I focused Absolutely. on. I focused on your teachers trusting my leadership Absolutely. enough to know that we can move these scores. Mm -hmm. If we work together, mm -hmm. adults, the kids will buy into Absolutely. To what we have to say. So Absolutely. how do your – and I just am blown away because, of course, we have conversations. But how does that – where did that come from, that people are first – you're a superintendent. It's not like you just a teacher mm -hmm. in a classroom where you can say, well, we're going to work on the school if I got to work on my kids. You are the whole, you're the big piece of the puzzle. And mm -hmm. you're still saying Absolutely. what most of us believe, mm -hmm. especially people I'm hanging around, because if you the first thing you're talking about is a number, Absolutely. you know, we can't be in the same Absolutely. because that's not my Absolutely. vision. But how do you get, where does that come from? I would have to... Um give accolades to my parents okay. and my upbringing. I have wonderful parents um, who have always been there for me and they just instill certain values in me. Um, again, I love God and he commands us to love That's one cool. another. And I think that if I always let that be at the forefront of what I do, then people will buy into whatever it is that I'm selling. And, that, and I've said that before, but to me that is key. Right. You have to be a lover of people. You have to be a people person. Um, by nature, <laughs> I am a shy person. However, when I'm out, I can't be shy because I need for people to know, hey, how are you? I'm interested in you. I want to know what you have going on. And that's from the students to the teachers to the staff, just out in the community because it takes all of us to ensure that our students have what they need so that they can be successful beyond high school. Well, so amazing. It seems so easy, doesn't it? But it seems like we keep missing it. <laughs> I, I just see, you just say you're out in the community, you're with the kids, mm -hmm. you, you, I see you with the parents. I mean, let's just be real. I've mm -hmm. never worked with you. Mm -hmm. You've never been my boss. Mm -hmm. But the fact that I knew that I could come to mm -hmm. you for guidance mm -hmm. because of the level you were in education. Mm -hmm. I, see, it's lonely at the top. I don't know what people Absolutely. get you to believe. It, it, it really is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we were having lunch. Then we went at lunch one day. I was like, I, I, you have to be like, who, who can I trust? Absolutely. And so because of how you've carried you, mm -hmm. I knew I could call on you, mm -hmm. and I've never worked for you. Mm -hmm. So it show, So what you're doing, keep doing it because it's working. <laughs> and I know you, in the back of your mind you had to wonder. Now, I know she know a lot of people, and I do. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people that don't, at this level, you have to be selective. Absolutely. Um, if you watching this, stop telling everybody you're being the Facebook and the platform. <laughs> and don't write me because you know I ain't going to write you back uh, about that. Now, I'll write you back about good, but don't come write me talking about Facebook is your platform because it ain't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, I have to remind, because sometimes they'll say, Dr. Bell, but Fabe, uh, 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 that ain't where you right. tell your business. Absolutely. That, uh, go I totally agree. <laughs> I, I totally you know, agree. We talked about it at lunch. You know how many posts mm -hmm. I've deleted? That ain't good, Belle. Don't do it. But so you got to have people in your circle 
Absolutely. that have done it, mm -hmm. that have proven themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't kind of put you like uh, uh, put you in my stuff like you my girl now. <laughs> you know, because you were there for me. Mm -hmm. You know, no, I didn't call you every day. And I didn't feel the need to, but if I needed someone to say, hey, I'm having a tough moment. Mm -hmm. You'd always say, now, remember, Dr. Bell, this is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And like I was crying off camera a minute ago because <laughs> I told you gave me two more years mm -hmm. of my educational life by just one thing you said to me. And I'll never forget it. Um, you just told me to just keep doing what you're doing and you don't have to speak on your behalf. God got me. Absolutely. And even though I knew that. Absolutely. Even though I told myself mm -hmm. that for someone else to say it, mm -hmm. I was able to go on. Mm -hmm. and, and I cried in the car when I left mm -hmm. you. But I was able to get two more years of my education mm -hmm. back that Satan tried to steal mm -hmm. from me. So we talk about, let's talk about this football program. Yes. I know. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> yes. yes. let's yes. talk about this football yes. program. We have a program. Uh -huh. We don't just have football teams, basketball teams, volleyball teams. We have a program. And I want to give recognition to my athletic director, Coach Clifford Story. Um, he is just one of the great staff members that I have. Um, I have awesome people in place. Right, right. Our school principals, mm -hmm. um, our counselors, district officials. I have awesome staff, I have an awesome staff in place. And so we're all, we have that same vision, same goal. Um, we, we try to keep our kids first in everything that we do. Right. And so that's why we're so successful. <laughs> like, people be scared to play Lynette in anything. <laughs> Like they they start a fishing, mm -hmm. they're they gonna win at fish, mm -hmm. um, and so I, you're right because the passion, and I think you describe me when I talk about some things that I do. I said I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. You always said no, you're just so passionate about mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. My show, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about my kids. I'm passionate about ECT prep. I'm passionate about when I'm when I, I just mm -hmm. finished my a contract. I was working for True County Schools for two years, and it was an awesome experience. And I was passionate about that. My mm -hmm. principal, Miss Winchop, used to say, they are the same way mm -hmm. every day because I love kids. Mm -hmm. And now God has relocated me to Griffin. Um, I'm at um, Cowan Middle School mm -hmm. as a math coach. Mm -hmm. The, they, they're like, this is a strange piece of, piece of fruit, mm -hmm. but I'm passionate about mm -hmm. that. So you're right. And when you're passionate, the way Absolutely. coach story is Absolutely. about every, volleyball, they're passionate. Absolutely. I, I don't care what it is. They are going all in. Uh, but I got to share this story with you, too, as we get to talk about your program. Um, a parent, her daughter wasn't the best volleyball player, mm -hmm. but a parent just shared with me how it did something for her child because she made the team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said when her child mm -hmm. told her she's going to try, she was saying to her, <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said, but the mm -hmm. coaches called her. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we got to show homage to um Kawana McFarland. Yes, yes. So talk, talk before yes, we tell finish this story. Yes. Talk about her just a tad. She was such a jewel, um, a strong encourager, and not just to the kids, uh, to the staff, to myself, and it was just a blessing for her to be a part of the Lynette family. And so um, her legacy lives on, and those things that she taught us while she was here, yeah. we're going to keep those things going. We're going to continue to pour into our children, continue to encourage our children. Um, and that's just a part of one thing that I see in our athletic programs. We want all of our kids to be involved. And it's not just about them performing on the field, but it's about pouring into them and pouring into their lives and encouraging them and motivating them and helping them to reach their full potential. Because that's what she did. And you know, I got, I'm going to interview her husband <laughs> soon, so I better say Kawana McFarlane Tucker. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't come at me, uh, uh, Bishop Tucker. Uh, but she, she used to work with me for a while before mm -hmm. she came here. She was so excited she got mm -hmm. that job. And I had told him I hadn't interviewed him yet because mm -hmm. I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wasn't ready. So Kawana was a jewel, but she mm -hmm. was the one that pulled that parent mm -hmm. aside. Uh, and I needed to share with you and mm -hmm. the parent. We just, she said, um, Bill, she said, she just was like, we got your baby. Mm -hmm. And she said she had her, they, mm -hmm. they she and um, um, Coach Story, mm -hmm. the female, every step of the way. She said it just did something for her daughter and, 
and her positive, you know, she just had a positive outlook on things ever since she made that. But she was like, well, she got it. She's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. But those are the kind of people Absolutely. you're producing at Lynette. Absolutely. Those are the leaders that you have at Lynette. And I'm not telling you because you told me. I'm telling mm -hmm. you because I see that. Mm -hmm. Just such cr cr incredible people. Absolutely. So you have your schools. Your kids are doing. They 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 love to come to school. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that you would like to see in this mm -hmm. up and coming year for for your student? I don't care if it's academics or athletics. What do you? What's your vision? Well, we have a huge focus on academics, but okay. not just academics. Meeting the needs of the whole child. Gotcha. Um, we're putting some things in place to address social emotional learning, okay. um, mental health. Okay. We already um, have some things in place for that, but we want to do a better job at meeting the needs of the whole child right. because academics is one thing, but they will never get to where they need to be if there are other barriers in place. That's good. And mental health um, issues is a barrier, social emotional issues, right. barriers, peer pressure. All of those things that are barriers, we want to address those things so that we can move to where we need to be academically. See, that's why I love you. And, and me, I just got chilled because we think like, okay, that it's going to come. Mm -hmm. But if the child making straight A's and she doesn't want to be here anymore. Absolutely. What good is that? Absolutely. We are in a different time. I was Absolutely. sharing with some of the students the other day. I said, I know it's different for you guys. Mm -hmm. I said, I could beat somebody up, but they beat me up, and we just go home and laugh about it. Mm -hmm. Now you get to watch the video over and over and over, and what does that Absolutely. do for your mental psyche? Absolutely. And I tell them, um, I, I tell them, if that's you sharing that video, mm -hmm. think about it. It could be you one day. Mm -hmm. You know, our parents used to teach us mm -hmm. it, it ain't going to be funny when it's on your roll. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that mental health piece is huge. Absolutely. The social piece, oh, my Absolutely. goodness. Because we had this, the, the phones and the, the videos games are mm -hmm. raising our kids Absolutely. and they don't know how to be you know everybody was like I'm protecting my peace but I think the real issue is you don't know how to have a you don't know how to conflict resolve because you never had to push through an uh, argument absolutely and absolutely. so what God is trying to do with um, with our Dr. Bell Student Success Center, the mentoring program that he's, mm -hmm. we're going to we're gonna address lost learning, but we also want to address conflict resolve. Because yeah, I absolutely. think if we can do a little role playing, because what we're seeing mm -hmm. is kids are giving up through the mid-conversation. Absolutely. They can't have an argument and, and do it correctly. Absolutely. So, so you got that piece, mental health, that is huge. Yeah. And our kids are dealing with so much yes. that... You know, we, we, we dealt with some things as well, but they're dealing with so much. And, you know, I always say, you know, if, if I'm feeling bad about myself or if things are not going well at home, when you get up to teach me about academics, I'm not necessarily interested in that. Correct. Until you, you speak to those things that are really affecting me. And so that's why we want to make certain that we're meeting the needs of the whole child. I love yes, it. academics, that is, that is a priority. We want to be in a better place. We want to keep progressing, but we also want to speak to those other things that have become barriers um, for our children. Because we have to be very honest about the statistics. Some of the most intelligent children have committed suicide. Absolutely. So if we were not very open and honest about that, mm -hmm. we are just we are missing it. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about you, your staff. You um, and so do y'all address some of those things um, with your staff as well. How do they cope mm -hmm. with the season of mm -hmm. wanting to give up sometimes? Mm -hmm. How do you deal mm -hmm. with an adult who are having hard times? Mm -hmm. And um, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. You know that our school district has been affected uh, by death um, yes. quite a bit here yes. um, since the start of the school year, yes. and so we're actually in the process of um, putting together some things for our staff. Right. Um, yes, we say, you know, you can talk to the counselor if you need to speak with the counselor, but we're, we're reaching out, um, pulling in some additional resources wow. so that we can help our staff members because we are people and we also deal with things. And so we want our staff to know that, hey, we see you're hurt. Thank you for coming to work, but I see you're hurt. I don't want to negate my responsibility as a leader to helping to encourage you as a staff member as well. And so we're putting some things in place uh, to help our staff as well. I love that you said it because I started this interview off when we were, well, when I was talking about um, Coach Tucker, McFarland Tucker, is that I didn't really, couldn't interview her husband yet because mm -hmm. I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And I was just someone that worked with her briefly and mm -hmm. she became a good friend to me or she thought I was a good friend to her. She loved me, I loved her. Mm -hmm. So imagine someone she worked with every day mm -hmm. 
She had just left the day before and you all have to give them the news. Mm -hmm. So that is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You you're and I love the fact that we're talking about because I knew it was something about you that the people needed to see your mm -hmm. your your humility, mm -hmm. your 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 love, your your compassion for education. So I think this is a a, 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 a place to throw this in. So you do love academics so much so that we are going back to school to work on, uh, what are we working on? <laughs> I am currently working on my um, EDD mm -hmm. in educational leadership. Right. Um, I'm really excited about it. This has been um, one of the goals that I've had, but it's not just for me. All right. It's so that I can continue to learn, continue to grow, so that I can be the best leader that I can be, so that I can build leadership capacity in others. Well, see, and but that's why when I got my um, leadership degree from Auburn. That's why I, you, it teaches you so much. It, it, it's constant learning. Like you never stop learning. Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to share that because <laughs> I can't wait to be. I'm okay. Super, you know, I call you Super Boy, but I'm not going to call you Super Doctor Boy. I um, so we have the the mental health piece. We have the athletic piece. Mm -hmm. We have the academic piece, mm -hmm. and we have some beautiful family members. Tell us about your your sweet children. I yes, love it because yes, yes. you know that's my girl. Yes, I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. Um, have Brianna McCants. Okay. Um, she's married to Trentavious McCants. Who's a coach here? Who right? is a uh, our head basketball coach actually? Mm. And I also have a younger daughter, Erin Boyd. Um, she's a graduate of Auburn University. Oh wow! And she's in that stage to where she's still figuring out some yeah. things. Mine um, too. But I love love my kids. They are my biggest supporters. They are. Um, a lot of people don't necessarily know my story and the struggle. Um, but I had Brianna when I was 15 mm. and I had Aaron when I was 19. And mm. so this just didn't happen overnight. Um, it took a lot of hard work, determination, um, and just the grace of God. If, if you allow me to say that, yes. um, no. just the grace of God, <laughs> yes. um, he didn't give up on me when I made decisions that caused me to, um, have a setback in a sense. He didn't give up on me. He cleaned me up and made me new and uh, pushed me a little bit further. And so now I'm sitting in this chair, and who would have thought that a 15-year-old teenage mother would be the superintendent of school district? Honey, we, you better, <laughs> listen, you better be glad we go. We're about to have church up in here. Listen to me. You have inspired me to a whole different level. I appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. We have many more conversations to be had. Mm -hmm. And you are just a phenomenal I, woman, period. But just like um, it had to be said about our vice president, you are a phenomenal African-American woman. You are a phenomenal woman. I'm not minimizing the fact, but you got to understand what it feels like to look like me, mm -hmm. to look over and look at you. I appreciate your time. You. Oh, Superintendent, so Dr. Boyd coming up. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. <laughs> so how can we find you? I tell them real quickly, how do they look you up? LynetteCitySchools.org? LynetteCitySchools.org, telephone number 644-5900, email jboyd at LynetteCitySchools.org. I have an open door policy. I love people. I love talking to people. And it's going to take all of us to make certain that this school district is successful. I love it. You better listen. Don't play with her. That's my <laughs> friend. Oh, my God. It's over. Guys, didn't I not tell you? See, y'all out there thinking you got to give up because you done had a baby or your life is over. 15-year-old superintendent, 17-year-old Dr. Bear. We <laughs> all have a story, and we want to hear yours. I am so honored to be on this platform to see women like you all, men like you all, people, white, black. We all need each other. I am so grateful to you every week as you tune in and share with us this journey. And as I always tell you, when you wake up in the morning and you only have one decision to make, you make sure it's that decision and you choose to win. See you next time. Be blessed now.